Hello again. In this video, we're going to look at running PHP unit unit tests in PHP Storm using a Docker container as the remote interpreter. This is the end of a small series where we've covered how to run PHP unit tests in PHP Storm using a local interpreter, a Vagrant box, and now Docker. So it's worth taking a look at at least the local interpreter video as that shows some of the features of PHP unit running in PHP Storm using the test runner. Let's make a start. In the previous videos, we've talked about how there's a three-step process to configuring and running PHP unit tests inside a PHP Storm. For Docker, I like to add a fourth because I prefer to configure the Docker connection to PHP Storm first before we configure the PHP interpreter and then PHP unit. So let's do that right now. So let's open up the settings. And if we go up here and search for Docker, I know this is under uh, build execution and deployment, and then we go to Docker, you can see that we can um, create a connection to Docker right here. So if we remove the existing one, I'll show you how to do this. We can just click plus. And because I'm using uh, Docker native for Mac, I don't actually need to change any of the default settings. We can apply this and okay. And now we have a connection to Docker between PHP Storm and, and um, the Docker API. So that's the first step that I like to do just because I'm working with Docker, you should do that really anyway. And then we do the same three steps as we've done before. So we go to languages and frameworks, PHP, and we add a remote interpreter so that PHP Storm knows which interpreter to use. We select from Docker, Vagrant, VM, and remote, and then from Docker. And because we've already configured this, again, it just picks it up for us. Um, I'll just use this put player image name, which is from uh, a little project I'm working on, and the interpreter path is PHP. We're just gonna use the global PHP install. So if we click, click OK, PHP Storm will check that installation and should detect the fact that we're using PHP 7, which is an old version, which you know I really need to update that. We don't have a debugger, but it's basically worked it all out for us. So I'm just gonna call this Docker PHP 7, so I know exactly which one it is, and check visible only for this project. As I mentioned in the Vagrant box, that stops uh, us polluting the kind of global interpreters whenever we start a new project. Apply and OK and apply here. We need to click apply here because I need this to be available when I go into the PHP unit configuration. And uh, again, we need to click plus and add a new PHP unit configuration by remote interpreter. So we've done this in the right order as we did with the Vagrant box. So I already have this Docker PHP 7 available to pick, which is the nice thing about doing it in this sort of logical order. The other interesting thing to note is that PHP Storm knows what mappings are configured. So we've got a mapping from project root to opt project, which is nice to know. Um, and for this project, because we're using Composer, this is Zen Service Manager. It's a branch I'm using to update to um, PHP 7.1. We can just use the Composer autoloader. And again, P PHP Storm predicts it's in opt project vendor autoloader.php and picks that up for us. We also want to define the default configuration file. And that's going to be in opt project and then uh, PHP unit.xml.dist. I haven't renamed this because when I'm working with PHP Storm, I don't need to rename the .dist to .xml because I can just use the file straight from within PHP Storm. So if we click OK, uh, apply and OK, and then go back, the only thing we need to do now is to create a test runner. Now again, we could sort of run um, test using right click and run, but I'm just gonna create the test runner so that I can run all the tests anytime I want. So we click add PHP U to get PHP unit again. And it's defined in the configuration file. So I know the scope. I don't want to just run a directory or a class or method. The tests to run are defined in the configuration file. And then we can just say Docker PHP unit here. And okay that. And you can see we're away to go. So if we click play, you'll see the PHP storm will run the unit tests in the Docker container we've got. And as with Vagrant and as with the local interpreter, we get all the feedback straight within our IDE. So in this instance, this is designed to be run against uh, PHP 7.1 and we're running PHP 7. So it doesn't like the void key keyword, which is nice. But again, we get our navigation straight to where the problem is and the navigation to the test that causes the problem. I hope this has helped. Uh, we're hoping to do some more mini series like this on working with different interpreters and different libraries. Let us know what you think. You can give us a tweet at GWH, at GH or at PHP Storm. Uh, and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.